Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Kit Planes and AvWeb from the Aircraft Electronics Association show at Las Vegas, Nevada, where the big story, at least for us, is Garmin's aggressive entry into the experimental and light sport category with seven new avionics products. Now, they're not specifically showing them here at Las Vegas because this show is mainly for certified equipment, but we'll talk to Jim Alpizer of Garmin about the uh, company's intent. But first, let's take a look at some of those products. The G3X is the flagship product of Garmin's experimental and sport line, and the new product to drive that is uh, GSU-25. This is a lightweight, inexpensive Atahars. It can also display angle of attack if the airplane is equipped with this dedicated angle of attack probe. The Atahar sells for $799, and the probe either $199 or $299, depending on whether it's heated. There's also a new engine indication uh, module, which packs in a bunch of new features for the G3X display. It will sell for $599, and it's called the GEA24. Garmin has come to dominate the autopilot field with its certified GS700, but it's now got an experimental version of that with many of the same features, including thumb wheel control for rate and airspeed climbs and descent. On the left here is the new smart servo to go with the autopilot system. It weighs just 1.4 pounds, and you can buy either the uh, two-axis version of the autopilot, entirely controlled from the G3X, or you can add the control panel for another $750. For home builders wanting to fly IFR, Garmin has the GAD29 interface box that lets the G3X talk to Garmin's TSO, GNS, and GTN navigators. It will sell for $425. Now, in case that wasn't enough, Garmin hasn't forgotten the ADS-B either. They've adapted the GDL39 portable ADS to a hard mount, and that'll be available later this year. Now, here's Jim Alpizer to tell us more about the Garmin's thinking in introducing all these products. Well, we are extremely excited to bring new capabilities and features and really new products to the G3X uh, lineup. We've uh, invested a tremendous amount of resource and actually, in fact, developed a, a unique and, and segregated team uh, to, to work on all of these G3X products, features, and capabilities. So we're branding it uh, uh, Team X, and that's kind of our experimental division of product engineers. And these product engineers are, are folks that actually own experimental aircrafts themselves and just are, are aviation enthusiasts. So we're really, uh, really thrilled to, to harness that energy and that creativity into these new product designs. We've got this incredible toolbox at Garmin that these, uh, this team of experimental engineers have really been able to tap into. And we've basically said, go play in the, the, the certified toolbox, take out, the things that you, take out you know, take the things that you like, and then add in the things that you really want. And, and it really has just kind of created a, an awesome product line for us. So I think the level of demand and the size of the experimental market uh, continues to grow as aviation uh, is in this transition phase of, you know, it's becoming more and more expensive to fly because of things like the cost of fuel and such forth. So um, I think people see the experimental world as a, a growing, and it certainly it's you know, there's thousands of experimental builders out there and thousands of experimentally built aircraft out there. And, uh, and it's well, you know, it's in the thousands that are produced each and every single year. So um, we're really excited to have some exciting products to, uh, to now add into uh, the cockpits and, uh, and the flight characteristics of, uh, of those owners. You can read a full report on Garmin's new experimental avionics in the July 2013 issue of Kit Planes magazine. For Kit Planes and AvWeb, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the AA show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching.